Five of my CRISPR stocks are up more than 38% over the past 30 days. Now, they could just be exhausted and they're just catching a little breath in, the, in this market, or this could be the start of the medical cure revolution. What if no one had to die from disease in the future? What if no one had to die from cancer, heart disease, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, kidney diseases? What if that was possible? I believe it is, and we're just at the beginning, and I want you to participate in it. So I'm going to share my five stocks with you. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. Do you ever ask yourself, what are you going to die from? I know what I'm going to die from. I'm going to die from cancer. How do I know that? My mother died of cancer when I was eight years old. My father died of cancer. My two grandfathers died of cancer. And then eight years ago, this Christmas, this coming Christmas, my daughter died of cancer. So I'm going to die from cancer. I know that. It's in my bloodline. My parents uh, have told me that you're going to die from cancer. I would ask you, what if I could stop that? What if, I, what if there was a medication? What if there was a treatment that you could put a needle in my arm and it would take the cancer out of my body? What if in my granddaughters, they could take a needle and put it in their egg and it would take it out of their bloodline? And then what if in my grandson, they could put a needle in his arm and it would take it out of his sperm? And we would remove it from the Grinkmeyer bloodline. What if? Well, what if I told you there is science that is working on that right now? I learned about it as a part of my passion to recognize my daughter and her unnecessary death from cancer. And it's become a passion of mine. And I discovered this by reading some books about it the Crack and Creation by Jennifer Doudna is one of them. You'll find it amongst the other books in my description. And I realized, and I bought back in 11, uh, 11 9 2020 I bought my first CRISPR stock. And I've added four stocks to it since then that are going to do just what I described to you. They're going to take cancer out of our bodies. Now, I've taken a beating on those stocks, and they have gone down. As, as the market retracted as a result of an over-exuberation created in our stock market by an influx of $9 trillion through the 2020 to react to the coronavirus. Now, am I upset about that? Not really, because that coronavirus has brought a focus in to health cure as opposed to health care. And that health cure passion will now stimulate the growth of my five CRISPR stocks. Now, what I want to do is share with you those five stocks plus five other stocks of behemoths that are going to come into that field because they have the money, they have the knowledge, they have the experience, they have the talent, and they aren't going to be left out of it. So that's what I want to talk to you about today. But first, I want to take you to my Seeking Alpha and my trading views to show you what has happened with these stocks, and then we'll talk about them individually. This is the first stock that I bought in this field, and it's called CRISPR. And the science behind this whole process is called CRISPR. Um, and oddly enough, I came on to this as one of the members of my community, our Discord, it lives in uh, Switzerland, and she was in school studying the science and told me I needed to look at this stock. And I bought it, as I said, in uh, November of 2020. And as you can see, the last year it has not done all that well. In fact, it's down 35%. But why I come to Seeking Alpha is to look on a regular basis on what's it doing on a monthly basis. And here you see it's up about 13.5% as of today. That's with, we're in a down market and it's down about 5%. So it's been up higher 
in the last couple of days. The reason I like this site, uh, Seeking Alpha, and I subscribe to the premium, is I get other people's opinions. And this needs to be a team sport. As well as I got the opinion of the young lady on our Discord, uh, our community, I get the I get the opinions of other people. So I look at CRISPR as I own it now and say, why is it up 13% in the last 30 days, as opposed to what the overall market is doing. I believe the market is waking up to it. This is Nutella, Intella. Uh, it's one that is down 52% for the, the year, but for the month, it's up 22%. So again, I use Seeking Alpha for this to give me, uh, is, are my stocks moving with the market or are they starting to move against the market? And I believe that this, this category is starting to move against the market. Now, this is BEAM, B-E-A-M. They use a different method, and I've covered that in other videos, and you can go back and see. But again, look at the, the one month, um, up 55%. And that's, again, with it down, being down about 5% today. It's been as high as 66% if you find it in the, the, its daily movement. As you can see here on the chart, it's been up um, to as high as uh, about $67, so about $3 more than where it is here. So this is what I use Seeking Alpha for. Now let me show you how I use Trading Views. Okay, this is Trading Views, and what I'm showing you here is a chart that goes back to, um, I guess it was June of 2020, and about when I kind of got interested in, in all of this. And you can see that from its high in um, July of 2021, it came down 76%. Uh, then what I did was lay in another tool that's available here on TradingViews called the Fibonacci analysis. And what it says, if a stock has a striking movement, in one direction or the other, it will retrace itself before it makes another movement. So I, I've, I've put a, from its high to its low in Fibonacci, and what Fibonacci says, it will, it will historically retrace itself by uh, 50%, and that would bring it up to this 82.38 uh, before it either levels off or before it moves on to its next level, which would be um, a 78% retracement, which would bring the price to $113. So that's kind of gives me targets uh, and, and gives me comfort in having an idea of what is going to happen historically anyway. And so that's what I use these two tools. And they're what I call the tools that I have in my toolbox, other people's opinions, other people's analysis, um, seeking alpha, and then historical picture and, and tools. And, and I'm only into the very small element of trading views or even seeking alpha. They go extremely deep. Uh, but they serve my purpose for giving me guidance as to where to invest. Okay, so we now know the the five or the reason why. Let's look at the five stocks. You see them here on the list, along with Amazon, Google, Microsoft, Apple, and Nvidia. And I'll explain why they're they are there as well. But let's focus on CRISPR, Therapeutics, Editus Medicine, Beam. Uh, Caribou and Intella. In my studies, this is the key. This is the key companies, and what I'm showing you is what their one year. And this is a little not current, but this is their one year losses. And then over on the far right side, I'm showing at the time I did this their 30 day gains, and you can see they are moving. Uh, substantially up. Again, they were substantially depressed, but they are moving up. And I believe this is because the science is becoming more known, more understood, and recognized that it is important 
this genome sequencing, genome editing for our future as a civilization. And, and it's that plain and simple. Will there be hurdles on this? Yes, there will. The internet wasn't perfect when it started. Neither was the railroad, neither was the shipping industry, neither was the steel industry. But the key companies came through and brought us a change in our world. Now, the next thing I want to look at is the key players. And they are George Church, uh, Fing Zhang, David Liu. David is a new one to uh, my group of uh, key people. And then Emmanuel de Carpentier and Jennifer Doudna. These are the key players, and I show you there who they're playing with, which teams they're on, and you're going to see that several of them are on multiple teams. What you'll find is that if, if it, you'll go in and study this, and I would encourage you to study it first by going to see Kung Alpha, look at each of the five stocks, read about them, see what other people think about them and what their general consensus is, and then put in some Google alerts for those five stocks and just go to Google and say, how do I set up Google alerts so that you get current information on these five stocks and you start to educate yourself on what is happening, why it's happening, and what's going to happen next. Then the next thing I encourage you to do is to jump in deep and read, and read these um, these three books. I would suggest you start with Lifespan. It's going to give you a general um, education on DNA, RNA, and, and genome sequencing and the changing in, in the, the health cure as opposed to health care. Then I would encourage you to read De Jennifer Doudna's book, and that is Crack on the Creation, and then read um, The Code Breaker by uh, Walter Isaacson. And what you're going to hear over and over and again, over again is these five people's names and how they grew as a competitors within their different schools of study and how they competed with each other to get the patents on this science and how it has evolved. Once you do that and once you understand this, you will be sold on it. You will recognize that it is a part of our future and it is going to be bigger, as Isaac, uh, as Walter Isaacson said, bigger than the digital revolution because it gives us the key to our existence, to our life, and the extension of our life. This is the development of humankind. Now, you also need to recognize this is going to be accelerated as a result of artificial intelligence, machine learning, and quantum computing. I, I, I just encourage you to ask yourself, which would you rather have, a Tesla or a life without disease. I think it's pretty simple. Which is going to make the biggest change in our life? And I think you're going to say it is going to be a life without disease. So with that being said, why am I listing in here Amazon, Google, Microsoft, Apple, and NVIDIA? Because it's going to take money. It's going to take talent. It's going to take a delivery system. Who is most active? Who did? Who just bought a company to, pro, to give um, primary care to corporations. Well, it was Amazon. Who who owns my Fitbit? And that would be Google. Who owns the Apple Watch? And that would be Apple. Who on January of 2019 said to Jim Cramer in an in interview, if you look back in 2035 and ask what was Apple's biggest contribution to mankind, you will say healthcare. I, I mean, the writing is on the walls. These people all recognize that in order to stay relevant and, and in order to keep their shareholders profitable, they have to play in this game because it is going to be the biggest change in our society in the next five to 10 years. Then why do I have NVIDIA there? Because 
In order to make this happen and happen fast, you need extreme computing power and you need the best chips in the world. Well, where is the the, the best chip in the world right now? It's in the gaming industry because gaming moves, moves faster than anything else. How much po- computing power is needed for you to do go- a Google chur- search? Then go see your grandchildren play on a game and ask yourself, how much computing power is needed to make that happen? And you're going to say, wow, if we're going to change our world from medical cure to medical care, and we're going to bring all the knowledge that we have in the world that we've accumulated through civilization on uh, on healthcare, and then add to that all the, the the information we have in the world on every individual on the in the world on how they were treated and how the what the results were, and we can put that together. You're going to need immense computing power, and you're going to need that in the cloud. Who owns the cloud? It's Amazon, Google, Microsoft, and Apple. So. If, if they're going to play in it, if they're going to overcome what Jeff Bezos said and said somebody soon will replace us, they've got to move in this direction. So that is why these 10 stocks represent roughly 70% of my portfolio because I'm betting that you can't stop this train, that you can't stop the, mankind's desire to take disease out of their grandchildren's body. You can't stop it. If you, if you ask them, which would you rather have, your children and your grandchildren free of cancer, heart disease, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, or a Tesla, which would you rather have? Well, the richest people in the world the, that own these top five companies all have grandchildren. So what are they going to put their attention to? What do they want? As Tim Cook says, if you look back in 2035 and ask Apple's contribution and what he was really saying, and you ask what was Tim Cook's most meaningful contribution, it is health care. So That being said, I don't care what the stock market is doing today. I care that my grandchildren will not die from cancer as my mother did, as my father did, as my two grandfathers did, and most importantly, as my daughter did. So I want you, I want to make a difference in your life. That's my objective. And if you'll pay attention, if you'll join our tribe, our community, and become a part of this movement, and like the young lady back in 2020, November of 2020, that wrote me and said, Carrie, I know your passion about finding a cure for cancer because of your daughter's death. Read this article on this company called CRISPR. That's what started this. And that's where it's going to end. We're going to save this world from disease. And I'm going to be a part of it. How, 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 what is going to be the return on my investment? I can't even imagine. It's going to be astronomical. Because as Walter Isaacson says, this is about the key to life. All right, talk to you again tomorrow.